Hi, I'm Stephen Golden and this is your Pain-Free Body. Today, I'd like to teach you Ida Rolf's exercise for organizing the lower girdle. Now, this exercise is one, is the first one that I usually give to all of my clients. It's really foundational, it's great in maintaining balance, um, but more than that, at maintaining the length of your fascia and your connective tissue. Um, that's extremely important because uh, the majority of people when they reach their physical peak, so-called physical peak, at the age of 25 to 30, have only reached 60% of the potential length of their fascia. Um, when you go to see a rolfer or a structural integrator, or you work with somebody like me who does end body therapy, we're going to work really hard not only to create balance in your body, but to really allow you to fulfill that entire potential of a full length in your connective tissue and your fascia. Um, so when we're finished working or you go home at night, um, I really like to give my clients um, tools um, to maintain and actually expand the results that we get um, from this work. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a flat surface and you're going to get yourself as lined up as you can with the wall. Um, actually, before you do this, I want you to walk around a little bit so you get the quality, um, get an idea of the quality of your walking, and then you're going to compare it um, to when you're finished. All right, so straighten both of your legs and determine which one is shorter. You do that by looking at the lateral malleolus, or this bone right here at your ankle. So you want to concentrate on this spot at the top. Take a look and see which one is shorter. Um, in my case, my right leg is a little bit shorter, so we're going to start the exercise with my right leg. Gather up the opposite leg in tight, interlace your fingers, and pull that leg in. Now, move your toes back and forth, and notice the quality of that movement, just your toes. And then move just your foot back and forth. Notice the quality of that movement. Now, before we actually get started, I want to talk about a couple things. It's essential that you keep your body in correct alignment when you do, the, do these exercises because you're changing the balance of your tissues. Firstly, I want you to imagine that there's a 2 by 4 right here so that your foot, both the big toe to the middle toe, fits flush against that, that board. Um, you want to look out to make sure that your foot is not inverting and it's not everting. You want to look at the line of your foot from this knuckle to the heel. You want to make sure that that line is totally vertical not inwardly rotated, and not externally rotated. All right, let's get back to the exercise. So you move your toes, move your foot. Now you're going to grab an imaginary pencil. Wrap your toes around it. Good. Now take that pencil forward and feel all of this tissue lengthen out the top of your foot. Grab that pencil a little bit tighter and bring it back and step down through your heel. Hold each position two seconds or longer, and then switch. So grab that pencil and take it forward. Grab that pencil a little bit tighter and pull it back and step down through the heel. Good. Now release that pencil. Keep your foot back. Now take your foot down but pull your toes back. This can be a little bit tricky at first. Keep working. You'll figure it out. Good. Now pull your toes and your foot back, stepping down through your heel. Feel all the tissue lengthen the back of your foot, the back of your leg, all the way up into your hip. Pull those toes back a little bit farther, and now take the foot forward, hold for two seconds or longer, pull those toes back, and then pull the toes and the foot back, stepping down through the heel, really feel that lengthening. One more time, take the toes back, and then take the foot forward, and then release. Bring your foot back to a neutral position. Now return to the first movement, just move your toes back and forth, and notice the quality of that movement has changed. Then move your foot and ankle back and forth and notice if the quality of that has changed. Now on your own, you're going to go through that a second time. When you're finished going through all that a second time, you're going to get up, walk around, and notice the difference between the two sides. Sometimes it's going to be really dramatic and it feels like you're walking around in a circle. That's great. It means something has really changed. You're going to come back, you're going to sit down, and you're going to switch your legs and go through that entire process again. This exercise is wonderful if you can do it every day um, or even three to four times a week. 
Um, you can do it as many times as you want during the day. Um, it's often the most useful um, towards the end of the day, because during the course of your day, your, your tissues to have a tendency to become contracted. Anyways, that's Ida Rolf's exercise for organizing the lower girdle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. And I'm Stephen Golden, this is your Pain-Free Body.